boys and girls, I can't believe I'm doing it. We're back on No Creek again for like three farming videos in a row. Oh my gosh, we're just going insane on some farming videos. Anyways, we need a truck. We need a truck bad. At first, I was riding my bicycle around. You know, I'm fat. I'm lazy. I can't ride my bicycle everywhere. I get out of breath so easily. And so I bought a Razor. And the Razor, she does good, but besides, Sheriff Bill caught me. And he said, come on, man. You can't be driving that up and down the road. And so... Legally, I think you can if it's used for agriculture, but your belly is kind of hard on me. So I need a truck. We really need a truck. We need a truck super, super bad. We need a truck more than a tractor even. And so I am going to head down to the dealership, and we're going to go look at a truck. I'm going to get a truck. I'm going to buy a truck today. Yes, I will buy a truck today. And then we have to decide on a truck for Brett. I got a couple in mind, but here, we're going to go check out the dealership. We need, it's finally good enough, it's late spring right now, we can officially plant. So, for, first thing for this video, I'm going to go buy a truck. Then we're going to go check out my new farm. Watch, is farm number four. My new farm is farm number four. It's an all grain setup, but Brett is going to, I'm going to have, I'm going to buy farm number two, and Brett's going to live at farm number two. And so we'll have farm number two, too. Uh, like a lot of people, I read the comments, a lot of people recommended having both farms. And so we're going to do both farms. Like, I, like 70, 80% of the comments were either saying farm four or two, I would say, for sure. So we're getting both farm four and farm two, and eventually we'll once we get big and big and big, we're just going to buy up the whole county. We're going to buy up all the farms and all the fields. Dude, the Razor, man. I love it. Okay, hopefully Sheriff Bill's not around. Hopefully Sheriff Bill's not around here. We don't want to get caught. Okay, we just blew through a stop sign. Oh, babe, we're going way over the speed limit. Oh, we're getting some air. Oh, my gosh. Oh, dude, I'm, I don't know whose field that is. Okay, hopefully that's not my field. Okay, we should be good. We better watch out for deer. Ah. Whatever, the razor will just run them over. We should be good. Okay, the dealership. There she is, the dealership. Now, this is a used kind of new dealership. They have a couple new trucks. I want to get, I kind of want to get a new truck for me. Maybe we'll get something used for Brett. I kind of want to get a new truck, but there's the dealership. We're going to pull around here. Man, what is the dealership called? We got to figure out a name for this dealership on this map, boys. Okay. Oh, dude, I don't know. I feel like I, I want to keep the Razor, dude. I want to keep the Razor, just drive the Razor, but whatever. We got to get a truck. We'll keep the Razor anyways, just for ripping across fields. Okay, oh my gosh, what do we got here? Okay, we got a 2018. I think it's 2018 because it's got the hood scoop. Chevy Duramax with the big old Alisan transmission in her. The old reliable Alisan. Dude, check her out. Check her out. I like it. It's got a gooseneck. We need a gooseneck. Oh, we got a 05. I would say 05, 06 Chevy Duramax. It's got the... I don't... The rims look... Uh, to be honest, the rims... They're little... They, they look decent. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like they don't look beefy. They look kind of like stylish or luxury. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like... I, the bottom mount looks a little weird on it. We got an 08 Cummins. That wouldn't be a bad truck. That wouldn't be a bad truck for Brett. But who knows? I got to decide. The I don't like... See... When I have a farm truck, I just like normal stock rims. But here we go. We got another Cummins, a 92 Cummins in the front. It's got the, like, blacked out, all black rims. I, it looks pretty good. We got an F. Okay, now we've always been, it's it's F350. We've considered it F550 before. We'll just call it F350, I guess. Um, flatbed, which would be good. I think this would be, I, I feel like we need to get more of a work truck for Brett, like a, like a complete flatbed. And then we got to find one for Owen, too. Oh, dude, we might be buying a ton of trucks here coming up. We got the, this wouldn't be a bad truck for Brett, actually, now that I think of it. I don't know if I would want this, but since we're going to technically be having a dairy farm, he farm number two is a dairy farm, right? So this actually would be perfect. Maybe we'll switch it up. We could call it like, I don't know. I don't know. We'll call it some type of name. We could throw a logo on it too on the truck. That wouldn't be a bad work for truck. Get like a, a red one for Brett and a white one for Owen or something. That That's a possibility too. 2017. Doesn't have the hood scoop. So it's I'm pretty sure this is a 2017 Duramax Allison transmission look at her look at her ltz baby these are expansive they get up there they get up there now possibility for me oh dude what oh what is this dude a 90 i think it's a 92 cummins 
Holy crap, it's got the semi wheels on her, dude. And it's a flatbed. This is the one we used on No Creek. This is the one we used on No Creek. Okay, that could be a possibility for me or Brett. I think I'm going to go with the Chevy because I promised, if you guys remember my promise last video, that I was going with the Chevy. So I think I'm going to stick with the Chevy. I got to choose the Chevy out of here. That's what I'm going to choose today. But we're going to keep looking through all of these. And this, uh, I got to give a big shout out to ooh, Wyatt, Wyatt um, Chaser and McLean modding they all put this together and so i was sent this and i had to give a shout out to those guys thank you guys for sending me this truck okay i like the semi wheels on it it's kind of cool they're they're insanely big okay 08 duramax she's got the allison you can see she's got the allison right in there this isn't a bad truck it's got the out, blackout rims i don't i'm not too big a fan i'm not too big a fan okay we got the o2f 350 it says i think it says f250 but it's definitely an f350 flatbed blacked out rims hey this isn't a bad truck at all dude this thing looks like a beast actually i think i can put semi wheels on that too i should have put semi wheels on that okay or i guess the dealership <laughs> the dealership should have put semi wheels on that and we got okay what do we got here what do we got here oh you guys know this is my style oh my gosh okay it's a 20 so, so it's just like this it's just like this red one basically i gotta okay i want one of these trucks it's a 2017 chevy 3500 duramax with the allison high country i love the high country dude this is Ooh, i gotta be decide between i want to go with one of these i do i i kind of just had i've i've been through this dealership before and i was like i gotta get one of these and then we also have a ram 1500 all blacked out this is like off-road type which wouldn't be bad for a farmhand you know and i gotta be give a shout out to rico rico i think it's rico sav rico sav with different breed modding from for making this thanks rico my brother okay and ooh, so is it gonna be for me for me i guess do we go with the red or the blue? I'm going to choose one right now. It's not going to be in the comment section. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to look at this angle. I like that red. I like that red. And I've always had blue. Dude, I don't know. This is tough. I think I'm going to go with red. To be honest, guys, when I was going through this video, I knew I was going to choose one of these trucks. And I really like this blue truck. Like, you guys know I like blue. But I think I'm going to go with red. I think we're going to go with a red farm truck. A little squeak back there. We're buying her. We're buying her. 70 grand. I'm going to take the red truck. We're going to go with the red truck. Now, I got to... Now that I'm going to buy this... Okay. We got... Okay, I'm going to... I, th I think he's... We're going to take this truck. I'm going to go inside and we're going to go do paperwork up in the office and hopefully we can get this we're, we're just dropping all the cash seventy thousand dollars cash we're gonna go inside and do some paperwork in here well boys we got the truck seventy thousand dollars even plus or minus a little tax a little around there seventy thousand dollars this brand new duramax we're taking home with us now i do i, I feel like i need a trailer because I gotta get this razor back somehow. I can't just leave it at the dealership. Oh, dude, we gotta get this razor back somehow. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at the Duramax. Look at it. It's our truck now, baby. Oh my gosh, this is sweet. This is sweet. We can definitely do ton in the home with this. But, but, I need you guys to let me know what I need to get Brett and Owen for trucks. We got all those to choose from yet. So, I gotta just, we gotta decide on what we gotta get Brett and Owen. We're gonna come back to the dealership, and hopefully the, the, the salesman gives us a pretty good deal, since we're buying three trucks from him total. Hopefully he gives us a good deal on the other two trucks. Now, we're, since I got my new truck, dude, we are making so many purchases today. We are heading to our new farm over here oh my gosh i got i still haven't bought it i still haven't technically bought it so we're gonna walk up to the sign and it's officially gonna be our farm it's more of a grain farm i like the setup it's all like real clean i like that it's i, I like this the setup and then we're gonna go buy brett's farm right away too we're gonna buy both farms because this is what we all kind of decided i've looked through all the comments and thank you guys dude seriously thank you guys um for giving your opinion down below. I read through all of them and sometimes there's some really sometimes there's some really funny comments that just crack me up while I'm looking through them. Okay, we're going to buy this for 1.1 million dollars. 28 What does HA mean? 
It usually would just be A, I'm guessing. 28 acres. Is this only 28 acres? I thought this would be more, but... Okay. We bought it. Now, okay. This is our property, but what fields do we all own now? So, I think we own... I think we own this whole block. I'm pretty sure since we own this up here, we would own this whole block. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to probably sell this. Because I don't think we should, like own it yet i feel like we have to work our way up so i'm, I'm probably gonna sell this farm maybe just not right now because i gotta get the Ooh, actually we do have the do we have the field sell okay we do have the field sales manager okay i could sell that farm well that's what we're gonna do right now so i wonder how much we could sell it though for okay so we're gonna sell the fields right control sell field one i think it's field one yeah it's field one okay we're gonna sell that for four hundred five thousand. There we go. Oh, and now we can just instantly... Okay, so yeah, we don't own field one over here. I think this is field one, this is field one, and this is field one. They're all kind of connected. And I'm thinking we get all of this back here. But we're also going to get two over here. So we'll get a couple fields. We'll get a couple good fields. I mean, harvest isn't going to be that big this year. I don't know. Oh, dude, look at that. Look at the nerve back. She looks nice there. Okay, we got to... I guess, I guess we're just going to put it in the garage for now. Why not? I gotta figure out the best spot to put the Duramax though. Like, where does this... There's no real, like, you know, truck garage, I guess. Okay, we're just gonna put it... I guess we're just gonna put it in the shed. That's what we'll have to do. Open up the door. Now, we gotta implement shed... Oh, my gosh, dude. This shed is gonna be sweet. We gotta implement shed back there, which I'm gonna throw, like, every... Oh, I didn't even close the doors all the way, but... We're gonna throw, like, all the implements in there. Oh, dude. The Chevy. Now, where do I put this thing? Does anybody... I guess... What I can do is I'll just put it up here. Does that seem good? Just right there. Truck right there. That'll be good, hopefully. Okay, we gotta show off those lights. Now, tab back over. I want to sell this semi. I want to sell this semi and get a nice Peterbilt, but we're not going to do it right now. As of right now, yeah, I don't think we're going to get her done. So I'm going to take the semi and we're going to go put it in the shed. We're going to go put the... I, I don't know where I'm going to put the grain trailer. Oh my gosh, um, are we going to be able to go through this? Okay, yeah, we can drive through it, thank God. We don't own this farm anymore, so we got to move our equipment out of here. There we go, the Ford. Listen to her shift. Oh, there she goes, dude, this is sweet. The old Ford. I got the Cummins. I, I, I could either put the Cummins or Detroit engine in it, and I decided to get the Cummins. I thought that'd be good. Dude, I feel like this map, there's always, like, there's a lot of tall grass, it seems like. It seems like there's an insane amount of tall grass in here. We gotta get the mower out soon. We gotta get mowing, but first, of course, we gotta get planting. I wanna get, I wanna get planting by the end of this video. I really wanna get planting by the end of this video. So we gotta get on that. Like extremely fast, I guess. I'm gonna bring the two planters over here. We're gonna get the new Holland in here. Also, I gotta. There's a couple comments who are like, "Squad, dude, you got the new Holland with the John Deere planter. I can't believe you did that. I know, I had to. I had to get the new Holland. We gotta change things up a little bit. And I think Brett's more of a Kisa H guy, so we may he may purchase a couple tractors for his farm, and we may kind of just farm together type of thing, is what we may do, or I'll just own them and then he'll just use them, kind of. Okay, we got to can this. I would like to stick this back in the implement shed, but I don't know if this is going to fit. I think we will have enough room in all the sheds, but it's the thing. I don't know if this trailer is even going to make it back there, if it's going to fit back there. Hopefully it will. Okay, dude, I should probably open up that shed door just a little more, but well, we're just going to try to make her. Nah, okay, I got to open it up. Ah, I, I could probably make it, but I want to put it off to the side, so we got to open it up more. There we go. I'm th dude, I'm thinking the trailer will fit back there. What do you guys think? I, I, it should. It should fit back there. Okay, we're just going to angle it all the way over to the side. Go all the way back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She'll fit in there. Right about there. Oh, yeah. There we go. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, now we're going to put the semi. We're going to put the semi just in the shop up here. If we can drive it through. I like how you can drive through this shed. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, there's three. I didn't even notice there's three here. Oh, uh, this is going to be sweet. That way we don't have to move out every piece of equipment. If a piece of equipment's like stuck in the back, you know? Okay, and technically we don't even have to back out of it. We can just pull right through if we keep both open. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, we're going to tab over to... I guess we're going to bring the International over. We'll bring the International and then... 
Maybe the 6R2. I get, there's a disc around here, guys. Where did Brett put my disc, though? I have no idea where my... I don't think he would have put it in here. Oh, okay, the 6R's in here. We gotta open this and get the 6R out, too. This isn't even our place anymore. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now she's opening it up. Okay, we'll probably put the 6R on the disc quick, and you know what? I feel like we gotta put duels. We gotta put duels on the 6R just real quick, because we're pulling the disc, guys. We got it. Okay, I gotta put this steering wheel down so it looks... So she looks... Is it going? There we go. Okay, it's just really delayed. Sweet. The 6R, baby. Now, I really want to throw duels on it, just because we're all... Um, I don't know. Ah, whatever. We'll put duels on it just for a little bit. Just for a little bit. We'll change her out a little bit. I, I just want to kind of mess with it. So, 22. I guess you could go 30. I wonder what 30 narrow rear duels looks like. That might be a little too wide. I'm thinking this is going to be a little... Oh, that does not look good. Oh, nope, nope, nope. We're bowling out. Oh, okay. 30 narrow, 30 rear duels. There we go. I feel like you got to go with the 22. Yeah, you got to go with the 22s on the 6 and 7R, I feel like. Yeah, even though I usually like 30s, we're going to go with 22 rear duels. Do those narrow tires? That's what Spencer TV does. He always puts those extremely narrow, like extremely row crop, I guess, like narrow, narrow tires on. And it's the weird. I don't know why he does it. It doesn't look good at all. It's bad. And oh, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna move this disc back. I'm not saying I'm gonna put the disc on the 6R, but we just, I just, I just figured when we're pulling the disc back, we might as well throw some duels on her. Okay, we need to find the disc. I don't know where Brett put it. I'm pretty sure Brett brought the disc back. But I have, maybe he left it at his farm. Wait, I could check. Where, okay, hold on. The disc is... Okay, oh, it's right back here, it looks like. Okay, it's on my map. It's... Maybe it's in the shed. Okay, I think... It, I'm pretty sure... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Sweet. There we go. Okay, we're gonna hook the 6R up. Dude, hopefully the 6R can pull this. This is a big disc. Like, the New Holland... may The New Holland for sure. The 8400... Maybe... Could run this disc. I don't know. New Holland, if we threw all duels on, it could. Oh, dude. There we go. There we go. Now, where... Okay, I'm going to pull forward. And actually, I'm just going to pull around here. There we go. We should just be able to pull right around here. Sweet. Um, Yeah, we got to go back over to the right. And then we'll just have the international... Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I don't think we swung wide enough there. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we'll probably just have the international follow behind. I'll tell you what, dude. The 6R, she's having a tough time pulling her. Actually, the horse... It's only, okay, so it's only a, if I look correctly, it's only a 6145. This is like the smallest 6R that's possible. So I probably shouldn't have it in the field now that I even think about it. I should probably upgrade to like a 7R. Because actually, uh, getting a 7R is cheaper than a 6R. Check this out. I've showed you guys, th guys this a couple times. Getting a 6R in this game is more expensive than getting a 7R. 195,000, 7Rs, 172,000. I don't know if that's right. I doubt that's right, but it's kind of interesting, I guess. Okay, we're gonna, here we go. It should be able to just follow behind. Okay, the international should be following. We'll get those planners there too. 6R, it's gonna take a while to get going, but once we get going, we can really get flying, you know? There we go. Come on, get going. Get going. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. The disc. Oh, my gosh. It wanted to tip on me. I probably shouldn't be going this fast, I guess. Holy crap. It wanted to tip on me really bad. There we go. By the way, I didn't tell you guys. It's 645 in the morning right now. So, it's early in the morning. We're moving all the equipment over. What do you guys think of the setup? It kind of looks nice. Obviously, I, I should not do it, and I can't do it. That wouldn't be a good idea to do this because this disc is a 50-foot disc. So, this is insanely wide. Yeah, with this tractor, I can't even get up to 32 miles an hour when I'm pulling this disc. That's bad. That's real bad. I feel like you would be able to, but I don't know. The tractor's just having a tough time. It's having a tough time climbing this hill. Look at it. Look at it, dude. Oh, my gosh. The International could probably pull this better. I wonder what would win in tug, tug of war, you know? The 6R or the International with duels? International's some old iron right there. Okay, come on. It's only at 10 
Okay, there we go. Now we're climbing. We got to make it all the way. This was not a good idea. Maybe I should have ran the international on her. Okay, we're going to roll through here. There we go. Swing wide. Please don't tip on me. Come on. Get going. Get going. I just wanted to get to 33 mile an hour. We keep rolling. So this is like another farm that I think maybe Owen could live at. And eventually, once we get enough money, we could buy this. I would st I would get out and see what the price is. But I don't really I really don't want to stop the momentum we have going with the 6R right now. Because it takes forever to get going. There we go. And so do we own this field right here? Um, I don't. That field right there, we don't own. No. We do own field 4 like all these fields right behind our our farm though and we'll own some it's really weird actually we will own some fields or i guess farm number two all the fields behind farm number two and those are all like how do you say it strips they're all farmed in strips so that'll be a little different it'll be a little unique you know i feel like i should have got the 7r because i could run the 7r in the field a little bit and throw some i could probably throw grain card on it maybe if i really wanted to you know, that's a possibility, too. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't tip on me. This disc really wants to tip. Okay. It doesn't help that the tractor's, like, tiny. I should not have the tractor on this disc. But we're going to pull over here, and we're going to put the disc in the implement shed, of course. Pull it around. And I said I was going to get the planner going in this video, didn't I? Oh, that's not good. Because I don't know if we're going to get her done. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, what just happened there? Oh, I want to stop him from going through. There we go. Okay, we're going to back it up the international. Now we can pull in the 6R. And I'm just going to throw it away in the back of the shed because we're probably not going to use it for a while. If we can, dude, I don't know if this is going to fit. Please fit. Okay, you just barely fit in there. Oh my gosh. I guess one thing we need to buy yet is a grain cart. I'm trying to think of other stuff we need to buy. Grain cart, combine's a big one. Watch. We're going to talk all about that later. There we go. Should be good. Sweet. 6R is just going to go in the shed. I got my nice little handy dandy shed door. Oh, three shed doors on the shed. Going to open her up and... I guess it'd probably be smart. I could just probably put it in the front of the shed quick. Wouldn't that be a good idea? We don't even have that much of equipment now that I think of it. We don't even have that much of equipment at all. <laughs> okay. This shed is huge, man. I could easily fit all my equipment in here, I feel like. We do need... I was going to get gravity wagons still. I was still thinking about that for Brett's farm over there. Okay, we're going to... Okay, international. Yeah, we'll pull this through. I got just all sorts of equipment. It's kind of, you know... It's kind of weird, all the... Maybe I should put red in this area and green in this area in the other area of the shop. Oh, boy. There we go. We'll just put it right here. The old international. Now, we need two biggest tractors. The New Holland and the 8410, which... 8410 is just going to follow behind... Okay, hold on. on, on what, what you trying to do? There we go. Okay, we're going to start up the 8410, and I think there may be a back road to cut across these fields. This might work. I think I think there's a gate over there, and if I go straight, I bet I could cut across these fields. Since I I technically own those fields over there. Um, there we go. Okay, it should be falling. We're gonna jump in the 8410, and we're gonna get going across those fields quick. There we go. 8400. Wait, what does it say now? It says 8400, but at times it will say 8410. It's super weird how it works. I've told you guys about this. Okay, we're gonna go left and i think this road might connect and it may work come on there we go is new holland still okay oh she is flying back there oh my gosh there we go okay oh boy hopefully new holland's gonna be able to stop man oh i barely almost stopped oh boy it was having a tough time okay we're gonna open this gate oh no no we gotta back up the tractor there we go Ooh, this is going to be tough getting through here. I think the planner... Okay, the planner's going to get caught, so I need to s go all the way around here quick. Oh, what's that new Holland doing? Okay, it's it's like... Okay, there we go. It's actually falling. Sweet. There we go. We got to turn all the way around this field. Hopefully, we can make it through here. Oh, she is a tight fit, man. I don't know if... Oh, my gosh. That was pretty tight. Okay. Now, oh, dude, this is a field we have to farm. I'm going to need insanely high power because these hills are going to be tough. 
These hills are going to be insanely tough to farm. Oh my gosh. This is steep. This is extremely steep for big equipment. Wow. Okay, we are going to need a lot of power. So, basically, we're going to have a lot of overkill, I guess, is what I'm going to is what I'm going to have to have on some of these areas. I guess it's mainly just this area, but even a combine. We'll need a big combine. One that has power, maybe we'll probably throw duels on it, tracks, maybe even tracks at one point we could do. Okay. So, since the I don't think we're I don't think we're gonna get to planting today. Maybe next video is just gonna be insane planting, literally like knocking everything out in the same video. Right now, I'm just gonna park the planters too in this shed because it's a pull through shed, and that's gonna be insanely nice. And I don't wanna unattach them, so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna plant. This, dude, this is nice. Our setup right here. Oh, it's gonna be nice in the fall because I can just throw the grain cart. I can run the grain cart just back to the farm quick. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Okay, sweet. We got our shed here. Now hopefully everything fits. The new Holland and John Deere right next to each other, if we can. There we go. I got to shut her off, though. And we got to get this new Holland up to the front. Shut her off. Oh, there we go, man. This is sick. There we go. We got to... Okay, I got to shut these off, I guess. We got to open up the garage door quick. Come on. There we go. Sweet. Look at it. Shed's looking good already. Got my Duramax in there. We got all sorts of colors on the farm, I just kind of realized. But, man, it's looking good. There we go. There we go. There we go. Next video will be planting in the field. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I know there's three farming videos in a row. We're going to have some other ones coming up this week. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Hey, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.